What's up, everyone? It's Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks, and I'm back with another jersey. Um, I got a cool one today. It's a, it's a game used uh, futures game jersey. So if you don't know about the uh, Major League Futures game, or I guess the Minor League Futures game, it's the same weekend or same you know period of time as the All-Star game, the Major League All-Star game, except it's just the Minor League version. They played on the same field. So, you know, wherever the MLB All-Star game is going to be, that's where the Futures game is going to be. And it's um, the USA versus the world team. So players from the USA versus all the other, you know, star minor leaguers who are from around the world outside of the USA. Um, the player I got today is a former Giants player, actually a Bay Area born guy, born in San Jose, went to high school at Bellarmine in San Jose and played at San Jose State University, drafted by the Giants in the 12th round of 2004. So this was his second year in the minor leagues, played in the Futures game. He would make his ma major league debut in 2006 with the Giants. Um, that 2005 game was played at um, Comerica Park, which is the Tigers, still the Detroit Tigers Stadium. So that's where the All-Star game was that year. The USA team would lose 4-0 to the world team. Um, this player would go 0-1 for 1 in that game. Um, but I do have a um, jersey, a game used home jersey. Of him as well when he did play with the Giants in 2007, which would be his second year in the major leagues. But and I was a fan of him with you when I was younger, you know. So uh, real quick, let's see. And we got that is oh my bad, <laughs> that's Kevin Franson. So Bay, like I said, Bay Area guy played for the Giants, played for a few other teams, Phillies, Nationals. Um, I think that's it. Angels, also played for the Angels. So, that's who he played for. Um, but yeah, so I got, so this is a Kevin Franson game used 2005 Futures game. So, uh, basically, let's just uh, let's get into it. So, for the Futures game, they did use the Majestic, um, the earlier version of the, of the cool base jerseys that would end up being, you know, the the style for the on-field, the actual, you know, regular season game jerseys. So here we have the jock tag, which is a rubberized decal. So you see MLB All-Star Game, Majestic Detroit, 2005, July 12th. Here you have your MLB authentication. Um, and if you put that in, you will see it says Kevin France in game used, um, futures game, all that. Got your size 46 tag here. Let me see anything on the inside. On the inside, we got, what do we got? What do we got? 0065. Then you know, you know, it's issued to a team. Got orange buttons on the side panel, or not, you know, whatever, not panel, but the side basically. I guess you can call it panel. You got navy blue, white, and then navy blue back up top course it being in the tiger stadium they made it tigers colors and then you've got the double stitched usa with this little design yeah you can see you can see that there are dirt marks which i'm assuming is from the game on getty images he did play in the field as well as when a bat so probably dove or something but um unless the previous owner was diving around in dirt for some reason and then you've got the USA flag right here. Let's see. See the stitching on the outside of the flag. Then the USA, you see the white stitching through. And then the navy blue stitch over that. So that's what you got there. <clears throat> you got the black giants. Uh, what do you call it? Patch here. Stitched in. Then you got the side, the sleeves, I mean the side, the shoulders. You got navy blue, white, and navy blue. Once again, you got some, some use here. So I will have to wash this, clean it up. It's all good. And then you got the embroidered majestic right here. And then what's really nice is you got the all-star futures game 2005 patch here on the left sleeve, which I think is dope. You know, not a patch you're gonna see everywhere else. Pretty thick patch, pretty heavy. XM satellite radio. See the stitching. You can see the white stitching on the outside there. 
So that's there. Let's look at the back. So you got the MOB patch here, which is embroidered and then stitched on an embroidered patch, unlike the current ones that are more of like a rubberized. So you got that. You got Francis stitched in, no nameplate, directly stitched on the top back of the jersey. Single stitch white. And then you got three right here. Let's see. Yeah, the three is the white is stitched through, and then you got the blue, separate blue that's stitched over that on top. Not a lot going on, but I like it. You know, unique jersey, not something you're gonna see every day. I love this patch right here. You got the USA patch, you got the Giants patch. You got three patches on one jersey. Three pretty good sized patches too on top of that. And I always love when I can find something that has a, a you know, some game user issue that has a USA patch, like the 2001 jersey. So that is the close ups. Definitely gonna have to clean that up. Now let's throw it so on. This is the jersey on me, fits great at the chest, it's size 46, but it is pretty long. Um, I also have a spring training jersey, a giant spring training jersey from game used from I think 2006. So around the same time as this one, same material and all that. That's also a 46, fits great here, just long. Cause you do have to remember these, this was not made for as a retail authentic to sell. This is a game used jersey. So obviously, you know, they did make them longer. So, you know, tuck in your pants, obviously it's baseball. You tuck your jerseys in. So, um, but it's fine, it's not too bad. I mean, it's still wearable. You know, my knee's not so down here. So I still got enough room. Might be a jersey I rock with a sweater under, you know, bring it up a little bit. So that might be that. And the nice thing is that it goes perfectly with like my Evansfield flannel seals jersey, the navy blue and the orange. So I can rock it with this. If I'm wearing a sweater and it's cold. I got the beanie to go with it, the American Needle, uh, American Needle. Same color, same, same logo. So I got a couple options to wear on my head, you know, if I want to wear it when it's, you know, either the sun's out, put a hat, or if it's cold and put a beanie on. So that is my 2005 Kevin Franson game used um, future game jersey. So unique one, one that I've been looking at for a long time and finally pulled the trigger. And also uh, the Futures game was in LA this year at the Dodger Stadium. I was thinking of going, my aunt came that weekend, so I didn't. If she would have came, I probably would have bought this a lot earlier and threw it on for that game. But it's all good. Maybe one day I'll get to go to a Futures game down the line and I can rock this. If not, I'm going to wear it anyway. So everyone have a good day. Thanks for watching. Uh, people, if you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, thank you for being here again. See you all next time.